The reason train Wi-Fi is so slow in 2025 comes down to one word, line of sight. Line of sight? Line of sight. Radios work much better when there is a line of sight, when they can essentially see the other antenna. And they work much, much worse when there are things between them, walls and buildings and trees. All those things cut down the range. And all of those really mess with their ability to get a good signal. Planes have it easy these days. It's a funny thing. It used to be hard to get Wi-Fi in a plane. But it just keeps getting better and better where trains aren't improving. And the reason is that the planes have these great lines of sight. If they're talking to a satellite. There's nothing between the flying airplane and the satellite overhead. If they're trying to use cellular, they're looking down on the tops of the cellular towers. Sticking up above the trees. Perfect signal. There's never a tree between the airplane and the top of the tower. Or a cat on their satellite dish. Or a cat on their satellite dish. So these days, it's super easy to wirelessly get a great signal up to an airplane to provide Wi-Fi inside the body. But trains, it's just nonstop. And if they finally get away from all these things blocking, it's because they're so far out in the countryside that there's likely to be poor cellular signal. You almost can't win. So why don't they just send the internet through the train tracks? Well, that's tricky. There are standards now for PLC, power line communications, for sending data over power lines. And you could use that on the rail. But it turns out the speeds are not that high. 20 megabits is about the fastest you can get because they have to go so far. And these aren't careful communications cables. They're just chunks of steel. And it doesn't go that far. You can get thousands of meters. But typically for power on trains, it's 40 kilometers between the power stations that are pumping power into that third rail. And it definitely doesn't go that far. So you're going to end up having to put repeators along the tracks, which is a whole lot of extra costs and a lot of the inconvenience I think you were trying to avoid. You might think, well, couldn't we run the signal at much higher power? So it goes much further. But then you're turning the rail into this antenna that'll be blasting out radio waves and interfering with everything along the tracks the whole way. And that's not acceptable to anyone. So you end up stuck at speeds that aren't as high as you want, distances that aren't as far as you want. And if you're going to build repeaters, maybe you should just be using cellular. Those towers are already most of the way along where your train is going. So why don't they use satellite? Well, satellite, again, line of sight. They You really want to see pretty much the whole sky to find the satellite wherever it is. And so if there's a building next to track, if there's trees, if there's tunnels, all those things block it. I think satellite could be a piece of the solution. When you're taking a train through the countryside where you're getting far away from towers, those are the points where you get have a great view of the sky and to switch to satellite at that point could make sense. But in any kind of urban or even suburban environment, there's just too many things blocking the satellite. You couldn't count on it. The final solution is going to have to be a combo. Different technologies working together. Subscribe for more stories on connectivity and security.